Hello Elucidat users and welcome to this video on releasing your project. In this video we're going to look at completion settings and how you might configure those before you release your project. First, just wanted to highlight what you can use completion settings to determine. So firstly, you can determine your required output. So if you're releasing to an LMS, you can decide whether you're tracking to SCORM 1.2 or SCORM 2004. You can also choose what you want to track, and that could be a completion rate for the amount of pages that someone's viewed, or pass rate for the score someone achieves in a quiz in the module. And then finally, once you know what you're tracking, you can configure what the pass rate or completion rate will be. So I'm going to open up my project and set my completion settings. So where you would set the completion settings on your module is up here in the configure panel. And in here there are a number of tabs and the first one I'm going to visit is the learner tracking tab. So if you know that your um, release output is going to be a SCORM file from, for an LMS then you'll likely know what um, SCORM version your LMS supports. And under tracking mode is where you can determine that. So we have SCORM 1.2 or SCORM 2004, and XAPI relates to if you've got an, um, an API configuration. So um, that will only be if you've custom coded in some of the API. So I'm going to select SCORM 2004 and see what happens there. So SCORM 2004 has less fields to fill in, um, SCORM 2004 can actually track completion and pass rate, whereas SCORM 1.2 gives you an additional option to choose whether you want to mark your courses as completed or passed. And whether you do that will determine on your course, uh, be determined based on your course setup. So if you have an assessment where someone's achieving a score, you'll likely want to select passed. Whereas if you are just if you just have a module that um, you want to track completion based on someone viewing a certain percent of the pages, you can leave it set to completed. I'm going to select past because my module has a quiz. And then I'm going to come to this scoring tab. And this is where I can configure the pass rate for my module. So if you've already set up a quiz, you might have set the pass rate at the time you created the quiz. So that could be already done for you. But if you need to um, do that now, you can use this slider to configure the percentage of questions someone needs to get correct in order for the LMS to mark them as passed. So 80% is the default. You can configure that to whatever you want in Elucid Out. I'm going to set mine to 70. If I was tracking by percentage complete, I could use this slider here to determine the percentage of pages I want to ensure someone has viewed. So I could be um, quite strict and say I want to, be, to know that they viewed 100% of the pages and use that slider to bring that up to 100. One thing to just bear in mind about the pass rate is that um, partially correct answers, um, you can choose whether they contribute to the score or not. So with this box unchecked, partially correct questions contribute a half mark to the score. So you can decide at this point on the global configure tab how you want those questions to perform on your project. Once you're happy with these settings, you can save them. And the next step will be to release my project with those completion settings. Some top tips to bear in mind in terms of completion settings are firstly to know your LMS requirements. So find out what SCORM version you need to publish to in advance. Secondly, think about what's required for the course to be considered complete, and this would be determined based on the structure and content of your course. Is completion a priority or is it the score? And then consider whether there's a standard pass or completion rate used across all your learning content. If everyone in your team is um, setting the same completion settings and that wants, you want that to be the standard for all your um, courses, then just make sure everyone's aware and is using the same output settings. So thanks for watching this video. Um, the next video, we're going to move on to the next stage and look at release modes and how to actually release your project.